All right, here, we're gonna head on in. Here's your front entryway, beautiful covered front entryway. It just needs cleaning. It does have these little circles, you see, those are drills where they put a chemical treatment down to prevent termites. Just at other times, it's Centricon system, which is a bait system. All right, high ceilings, big circular transom, side lights, double doors. That's all a good start. You have tile for your entryway. I don't have the lights on there, a few lights on. You have nice high ceilings, 10 feet at, at least, popcorn ceilings, crown molding around. To the left goes to probably a couple bedrooms. But you can see it's big living room area. It's carpet throughout, which needs stretching and cleaning and probably replacing over to the right is a double door for a co-closet area. So we'll head in through the foyer. You see a fireplace and built in over to the right of the fireplace. Nice transoms in the back with a nature view and the golf course behind that. You can see a sunroom back to the right with doors and then the kitchen over here on the right. So let's head back to see a little bit of the view first. Just looking out through the screened slider, you can see a golf cart path back behind the trees a little bit. You can probably see that concrete there. And so I think the tees must be to the right. I see sand traps to the left, so it's probably an approach shot with trees beyond that too. It's not covered, but it is a big patio, plenty of room. And then we'll spin around. You'll see a large dining room area and a very large kitchen. And then you see the front foyer entryway. Again, with the high ceilings, it really gives it a real spacious feel, which is quite nice. Let's head on into the kitchen. You got a little side door here next to the refrigerator for pantry. You've got electric range with the old fashioned circular grills and the oven, microwaves dated. Looks like, hmm, 30 inch cabinets, no crown molding on the tops. There's a lot of open space above there. It could be captured with different cabinetry. It's a vinyl floor for your flooring. You have an island here with Formica countertops and no crown molding again on those cabinets, but there are plenty of cabinets. You have a raised bar top that uh, has Formica countertop. It's not very big, but they have a couple of bar stools there. It's not wide, that is. A plate would barely fit. And then, sounds like utility room. Yes, leads out to the garage. Let's check that out real quick. They've got a lot of stuff stored in the garage here. No problem with that. And a car, stuff on top of that. So you have a couple built-ins on the left. You have your hot water heater on the right without a pan. Uh, and they put a little fridge out here and some electrical plugs over to this outlet. You have a little angular cove area for storage and such. And you have a pull down. So that gets up to the attic, which I'm gonna assume is floored. I won't be able to pull that down, but an inspector would if you interested. Two car garage. I got the dryer going in here. head back into the kitchen. Pardon all the bounciness and shaking as I'm trying to grab the handles and stuff. You've got six foot windows, double windows on the side here for extra light. And there's your neighbor next door. And then you have the formal dining room with a chandelier over the middle of it. And again, the double window looking out to the side. And there's good space between you and the neighbors. They have all their blinds down. And then in the back right corner is an office area. They use it as a den, playroom, whatever. Uh, you can see it's set up here now, pretty nice. 
good size room. More like a sunroom, but it doesn't have the windows on that side for added privacy. But it does have a six foot, no, I don't know. Those might be five foot windows there. And then you have a double slider here going out. And you have a double slider here, then your windows and your big transom windows. A little bit of fogging on that window. Some of these will have failed. And I'll spin around again and make sure I caught everything. Got the Tiffany lamp uh, shade hanging over the breakfast area. So you got a little bit of redundancy there, but you can put a really big dining room set in here. And some people have that and want that. You've got the chair railing around the edge. You've got your foot molding. You've got some decorative crown molding. It's quite nice all around here to the foyer and then over the top of this little fly support. And nowadays, most people get rid of that, but that's what uh, they have here. So let's head back to what is, I assume, the primary bedroom. Okay, you have a good size. You've got three windows, and then you've got a double slider behind this where the TV is. All right. So there's plenty of space in here. That's a queen or full bed. I'm not sure. It looks like a full bed almost, but it could be a queen. But a king could fit in there easily with plenty of room for everything else. And the master bath has a jetted tub, you first notice, and then gold-framed uh, cultured marble shower that's walk-in. Let's see if I can get light on in here. Okay, here we go. Closet, walk-in closet in the back, double sink, cabinets below, light bar above, a little medicine cabinet on the wall on the right, and your water closet here. Okay, and then this is a lot of storage stuff back here. So you've got a little uh, sh shelf there, plus a niche for storing your, your shower goods. And a lot of people are knocking all this out and making, frosting the window and making this a... Uh, or even sealing it off and making this a big European walk-in shower. But it's nice to have a jetted tub if you need it. Okay. Got a couple more rooms to do and then we'll have seen it on the inside. Walk back to the front where the foyer is and should be two bedrooms wrapped around here. So here's guest bedroom number one with two windows. You put a twin bed in the middle, put a desk in the middle. They've got a full-size bed here. That's definitely full-size. And, and you've got a walk-in closet here. And you have a pull-down for your, uh, well, a little pop-up, I should say, for your air handler. So the air handler would be right up there and your HVA service person would have to check that out. So decent size room here. And you've got your bathroom here. It's a fiberglass insert, shower tub combination with transom above, light bar. You've got your culture marble and same cabinets with the gold pools on the handles. It's stainless steel plumbing fixtures, and elongated uh, elevated toilet, and kind of standard height on this counter, but you have a lot of counter here and your sink bowl. And the final bedroom is the front left bedroom. And this has a really nice window, but it's fogged. So it may have broken its seal. I see a little spot up there. Don't know what that means. There's probably a roof angle right above that from the front foyer, front entryway. So you have to check to see if there's been any water leaks or anything. Uh, this is another full size bed. They also call that a double bed. And it has the bifold doors for the closet, kind of a standard closet. And they've got a little uh, little dresser in there that's in 
the rack above. Very standard on that. So again, a good size bedroom. So these are all decent sized bedrooms. You could put king beds, two twins, double, whatever you like. So hopefully that gives you a pretty good view there. And then I'll do a little bit of the outside in a minute.